Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I am Chris, the old school picker. What a weekend on eBay. I've got 20 orders going out. I think 24 or 25 items. I met my goal of $750 for the weekend. I'm not going to pull them all in this video because I've got a subject I want to talk about. A question I get asked in the comments all the time. Stay tuned. I'll tell you all about it. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the shop, hope you guys had a great weekend, had a great weekend, uh, in life in general, but also a great weekend on the old eBay, big, big weekend, big, big sales, uh, ton of orders, ton of orders, I'm not gonna get them all picked in this video, there's just no way, but, uh, yeah, I do have a subject I wanna talk about, I'll go ahead and give you a hint, it's about promoted listings. I probably get asked that about that more than any one topic there is in my comments. So I do want to talk about that. I want to tell you guys how I do promoted listings and uh, what I'm currently doing on promoted listings because I switch them up every few weeks or so. So I do want to talk about that. Going to go ahead and pull a few orders. Um, like I said, had a lot of orders going out, made my goal, well, came a little short of my goal, I guess, 20 orders for $747. My goal for the weekends is always 750 bucks, so fell $3 short, but we're going to call it good, right? I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, some of those orders are multi-quantity orders, so I think it's like 24 or 25 items, so I'm really happy about that. But we're going to go ahead and get started. First one going out, J4. It's going to be back here, J4. Picking Hoosier on uh, eBay. Picking Hoosier Fun Finds. Follow me here at the underscore picking underscore Hoosier. So I appreciate the channel membership. Somebody asked me in the comments if I was doing... Uh, consignment for all these people and i was like uh no <laughs> they are just channel memberships and i shout out their ebay store or instagram or youtube channel or whatever they won't shout it out when i pull my orders makes it fun or i think it does i hope it's going well i hope everybody is happy with it so far everybody that i've heard from has been happy with it so we'll see Anyways, this first order going out is pretty cool. Uh, came in the, I believe this came in the action figure deal. I had all those action figures back this summer. Huge, huge, huge collection. But it also had one tote, one box of miscellaneous Barbie stuff. And this guy right here was in it. It is vintage 1983 Barbie Star Stepper Dream Horse with bridle and saddle and horseshoes this uh does have some more pieces and parts in this bag brushes but these horseshoes how many of these horseshoes these actually go on the horse how many of those guys do you think got lost over the years that's crazy so they are pretty pretty rare and pretty hard to find it also had the instructions, so that was really cool about how to put the bridle and all that on. But that horse, everything, all, the whole lot, sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Pretty good deal. All right, next order going out. Sold a video game. Now, this is a GameCube game and uh, H3. And most GameCube games are really, really good. You guys have seen me sell a ton of them over the last few months i bought two gamecube collections and done really really well with them but for whatever reason star wars 2 the original trilogy it's not that good of a game i mean i'm still doing great on the deal because this came in the five dollar gamecube uh box i bought uh, i think it was around 350 dollars of listings for five bucks it's not bad this is a cheap game. Uh, I would still pick this game up, though, if I seen it at yard sale by itself for a buck or two. And this one sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Not bad. 
I would pretty much pick up any GameCube game for a dollar or two just because a lot of them are not worth a lot, but they're usually pretty quick sellers. So I would pick them up. All right. It's everybody's favorite time of the show. It's Kathy time. And I see it back here already. Arrange a wreath photopolymer stamp set and also the wreath builder dies stamping cutting it up cut and emboss dies from stamping up kathy a viewer sent me all this stamping up stuff and it's been amazing to be honest with you and this one right here is probably one of the best ones i've sold i've sold some really 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 good ones but this one and i did have to wait on this one uh it's arrange a wreath it's christmas right uh let's see yeah gate well it's actually easter and christmas that's kind of weird it's best wishes happy easter merry christmas give thanks and have a hard day so i guess it's five i guess it's all the holidays right anyways it sold it sold really really good 59.99 plus shipping that's amazing thank you again kathy i don't know what to say that's crazy 60 bucks this next item going out it's a pretty cool item it's on the tanya arnold shelf so tanya i appreciate you so much for the membership pick this little phone up for a dollar at a yard sale uh probably about a month ago maybe me and shannon was going to town and i just seen a random yard sale on the way or on the way back i can't remember and stopped at it there wasn't many yard sales out that day i think it was like a wednesday or something it was it was weird it wasn't many yard sales out and i seen this phone now this one is the push push button compared to the rotary find a rotary like this it would be pretty good uh but this brown color and it was a dollar i wasn't going to pass it up for sure because i knew it would sell and i knew i could make money on it i it, i did take a best offer on it i believe but i sold it for 17.99 plus shipping not bad for a buck and i've had it i don't know less than a month probably three four weeks something like that 17.99 all right speaking of channel memberships i got some more viewer mail the other day and it's i love these stickers man grams and pops vintage gp vintage vintage shop that is awesome 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 they are channel memberships so i will put this on your shelf so thank you very much and they left me a note so i want to read it love reading my letters i've had this for a few days but I've had so much going on in my videos i wanted to save it till this video hi chris we got our stickers back today and i thought I get a few in the mail for you for our chef. Keep up the hard work over there. Corey, AKA Pops. So Corey, don't know what Graham's name is, but Pops, Corey, appreciate it, brother. These are awesome. Appreciate the channel membership. And uh, yeah, I hope your eBay is doing as well as mine is because mine's doing really good right now. So I appreciate the support. They have a YouTube channel too, by the way. So go check them out. It's Kathy time again. Uh, don't know what to say, but Christmas is coming. And I don't know if these are gifts or if people, I would think people are probably making Christmas cards with these. That would be my guess. And this one is another really, really good one photopolymer stamp set once again from kathy so thank you very much kathy this one has been used like once <laughs> i don't know if you guys can see these stamps like that or not but it's snowman let it snow uh yeah it's kind of hard to see i'm sure on the video i did want to show you you could probably see that merry christmas since it's been used but this one is a good one just a little photopolymer unmounted stamp sets. I think you take a wooden block uh, stamp, stamp block, I guess is what they're called, and lay these on there and use them as stamps, right? I guess, Kathy, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. I st I've sold so much of this stuff that I still don't fully understand it, but that's just the guy in me, I guess. 
anyways, I know they're really, really good in this one here. So for $44.99 plus shipping. Thank you again, Kathy. That's amazing. You're a sweetheart. All right, next item going out. Oh, K4, Death Pile Picker, Mike. Uh, go check him out. He's putting out a lot of stuff on Instagram right now. Met Mike on the 127 sale this year. Great, great guy. Great, great picker. And a uh, good friend. And we have a, uh, what do you call these? Christmas ornaments. My mind went blank. Hallmark Christmas ornaments. I've sold a ton of these here lately. Christmas cards for Santa. Hallmark keepsake ornament. You know, everybody talks about fourth quarter sales and how great they are. They are great. I mean, I've always done really well in the fourth quarter. Uh, but typically, honestly, January's been always typically been my best month. Um, I don't know why. But, but for the fourth quarter to be good, you kind of have to sell stuff people's looking for in the fourth quarter. Those uh, stamping up sets. People are looking for them, and obviously people are looking for Christmas ornaments in the holiday season, right? Now, yeah, I sell these all year long. I've sold them for, been selling them really, really steadily for the last, what, three, four months? But as the season gets a little closer to Christmas, yeah, they've been selling even better. This one is 2009 Hallmark Keepsake Ornament Christmas Cards for, for Santa. He's standing at the mailbox reading these letters, right? That's... It's about how I look reading my viewer mail, <laughs> belly and all. Anyways, this one's sold for $9.99 plus shipping. All right, let's uh, take a break from pulling orders for just a minute and talk about our topic, promoted listings. I'll be honest, I don't see how anybody sells anything on eBay at this point unless it's something super rare without promoting their listings. That's my opinion. I don't want to ever be a channel where I am giving out like solid advice like you got to do eBay this way. I don't believe that. I don't like that. I just going to share what I do. If you can learn from that, if you can take tips and tricks from that, that's great. Um, and I will try to do the best I can on answering questions and give you not necessarily my opinion, but just how I do things. I want to share how I do it. If that works for you, great. If it don't work for you, that's okay too. Maybe you do it a different way and it could be very well be a better way. I'm not an expert on eBay. I don't love giving advice. I just like sharing what I do and tell you guys what I do. So I do want to share my current promotion with you guys. Uh, one thing I need to do in the future is share my numbers with you guys a little bit more. Um, I don't do that a whole lot because I don't think that's super important. My numbers mean absolutely nothing to you, honestly, because, you know, everybody's numbers different. Everybody's situations different. My numbers are nowhere near what a lot of YouTubers are and a lot, a lot, a lot of resellers are. I guarantee a lot of you watching this video right now. Your numbers are way better than mine, but I work, I work on eBay enough to live comfortably. I'll put it that way. So could I make more if I work more? Sure. But I really don't want to work more on it. I work about as much on it as I want to. And I live a pretty comfortable life right now. Honestly, we live more comfortable now than we ever have in our lives. So um, and keep in mind, I am doing YouTube at this point pretty much full time as well. So that takes a lot of my time. But anyways, this current promotion I am working on, I was just looking at it and I started it and I'm hoping you guys can see this really good. I currently, I started it really on October 1st, but that wasn't really the first full day because I started it halfway through the day. I, so we're going to say October 2nd because that was my first full day. So I got 190,000 impressions from promoted listings on that day. And I have been running this promotion from October the 2nd until today, which is currently October the 24th. Now I need to... Uh, end this promotion to be honest with you and start a new one 
I like to start new ones every couple of weeks. Sometimes I will run them longer if they're doing good. I'm almost afraid to mess with this one right now because my sales have been crazy on fire over the last three or four days. So I probably will just keep this one going as long as my sales are going good. You know, I'm one of those, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So I may end it for this video purposes, but I don't know. We'll just see. But I do want to show you guys my numbers. So what is that? 22 days. So we're basically going to call that because today's just started. So it's really 21 days. So really three weeks. Three weeks of this promotion. Now this current promotion, I am on a 5% rate. That sounds like a lot to a lot of people. I understand that, and maybe it is a lot to a lot of other people, but I want to show you guys why I do such a huge promoted listing rate. Now, a lot of people do more than that, um, but I usually hover around somewhere between 3%, and I think the most I've ever done was 7%. So usually, you know, I'll I'll stop it and uh, start a new promotion at 4% or 6%, 5%, 3%. I bounce back and forth between usually usually 3 to 7 or 3 to 6, but I think I did do a 7% uh, promotion one time. But I'm usually hovering right around that 5% rate. And that's what this current promotion is. This current promotion, I'll show you the numbers on it. That's all, this is all this one promotion. This is not old promotions. It's not new promotions. It's just the current promotion over those three weeks. In that promotion, I sold in those three weeks for promoted listings. Now, this is not counting all my sales in those three weeks. That is just showing how many items I sold that were promoted in those three weeks. I sold 85 items. I had 85 sales, promoted sales at 5% rate in those three weeks. The ad fees on that, the promoted listing fees, not seller fees, not any of that, just the promoted listing fees in those three weeks was $139. So that's an extra hundred, let's just call it 140 that was an extra $140 I spent in those three weeks to promote those listings that sold. Those 85 sales cost me $140 extra, not counting your seller fees, but extra uh, in three weeks, $140 bucks for 85 extra sales. But that ended up being sale total of 27.86.43 so five percent sounds like a lot right but who wouldn't spend an extra 140 bucks to promote their listings to produce almost 2800 dollars in sales who wouldn't do that i think it's good i will gladly spend an extra 140 bucks to produce an extra almost $2,800 in sales. Now that's not my total sales. Some I had some other sales that sold that wasn't promoted because you can, even though you promote your listing, you still can have sales on the organic listing, the unpromoted listing. You can still have that. But to me, 5% sounds like a lot. $140 bucks in three weeks sounds like a lot. But $2,800 of extra promoted sales to me it's worth it now it may not be for everybody but just look at the impressions i've got in these three weeks i've got three what is that three million eight hundred and sixty seven thousand impressions which resulted in four thousand two hundred and forty three clicks that means three million three point eight million people seen the listing and it produced 4,243 clicks. So 4,243 people actually clicked on that listing that they seen, which is um, a click-through rate of 0.11%, which 
that's pretty decent for me. That's usually what mine hover around. I've seen them as low as like 0 0.08 and I've seen them as high, I think, as like 0.15. So 0.11 is pretty decent for me. And it ended up being out of that 4,283 clicks, it produced 2% sales. Um, but to me, the numbers right here is what matters. I spent 140 bucks to make an extra $2,800 in three weeks. So that's the current uh, promoted listings I'm on. I do want to go back and show you another one that I just recently done. Okay, this promotion I started on uh, September 3rd. I started this one on September 3rd, and I ran it to September 30th. So basically 27 days. So we'll call this one four weeks, right? So four weeks. Once again, I had over 5 million impressions, 7,000 clicks, now, my sale conversion rate on this one was a little lower at 1.5. The click-through rate was a little bit higher at 0 .1, uh, 0 0.12. I did have 108 sales on this promotion. The average rate, because I did, and we'll talk about that on another video probably, was 5.95%, so almost 6%. We'll call it a 6% on this one. The fees on that were $202, so I spent an extra $200 in those four weeks to promote my listings, but look at the number of sales it produced, or the money, $3,400 in sales. So, if I told you, hey, go out, spend $200, it's basically advertising. That's what it is. It's basically advertising. If I told you you can spend $200 on advertising... And it will produce $3,400 sales, extra sales. I think everybody would sign up for that. Granted, some of that $3,400 in sales would have sold without the promoted listings. But I, all of it definitely wasn't. So I think it's worth it to spend a couple of extra hundred dollars a month, promote your listings. And uh, as long as I'm producing an extra $3,000 in sales from it or $2,000 of sales from it, I will gladly spend it. I think it's worth it. That's how I do my promoted listings, somewhere in between 3 and 7%. I showed you two examples of 5% and 6% that I spent a little extra money on, but it produced way, way, way more in sales. Let me know what you guys are seeing with your promoted listings and if you are promoting your listings. I do. I promote all my listings now, I will say this, uh, I don't promote as soon as I list. I usually list items because when you list items, new items, they get that bump immediately anyways because it's a new listing. So I usually wait a week or two before I promote them because I have, once I list them, I have a lot of sales that first week or so the items listed without promoting it. I can sell it. It's a new listing. It's getting a bump in the listings uh the algorithm because it's a new listing it's being at, shown at the top a lot of times on the listings so i don't promote immediately i usually wait a week or two but after a week or two that uh if that item has not sold it starts becoming a little bit stagnant it starts dropping down in the listings that's when i promote it and i just showed you guys that uh promoting listings works even yeah, it is a high percentage. Yeah, you are giving eBay more money, but it's producing more sales. That's what I do. Uh, my sales would be horrible if I didn't promote. So, all right, let's pull some more orders. All right, G1. Let's see here. This is a good item, too. And it is on the Tanya Arnold shelf. So, Tanya, I sure do appreciate you. And I need to get some more items listed on your shelf i've not been listing a ton here lately i listed 45 items all week last week and uh what makes this one super special is that's right it's a viewer sale and i just talked about these guys a minute ago buyer's note saw this on our sponsored shelf 
well I switched your shelf so it's not your shelf no more <laughs> it's Tanya's shelf now but I do sh uh, change my shelves around every week or so that way everybody gets showed but anyways this um, Grams and Pops Vintage again so Corey buddy I appreciate you so much I hope you enjoy this they said they had to have it I love reselling but it's going to be a tough to avoid becoming a hoarder yes it is uh, so much cool stuff out there. Corey, a.k.a. Pops. So, Corey, buddy, I appreciate it. This thing is awesome. Came in the vintage uh, t-shirt by I bought. They had a ton of Looney Tunes stuff. The lady was a Looney Tune fanatic. <laughs> and this was a Wally Coyote mug um, from Applause, 1989. It's in, uh, from what I see, perfect condition. And it sold for, it's not worth a ton. $12.99 plus shipping. So everybody go check out Grams and Pops Vintage. I appreciate it. It's Kathy time. Man, I sold a bunch of this stuff this weekend. I'm going to take it over here because there's like three going out. And I believe they're all three in this one tub. So stamping up stuff, of course. Oh, no. I take that back. It's not stamping up stuff. It is this poppy stamps stuff. All right. The first one going out is a sloping hillside and it sold for $12.99 plus shipping. And these are poppy. Uh, these are dies as well. And the next one is tiny fawns, which is three little baby deer. Right? And I believe this one sold for... $9.99 plus shipping and the next one is a memory box which is a little different but they're all dies right you can use them all and it is sketch deer background and sketch deer so yeah two different styles there and it sold uh for $9.99 as well as as well and um they all three sold to the same buyer so so thank you very much, Kathy. I don't think these are going out to a viewer, but Beverly, if you are a viewer, I sure do appreciate you. But thanks again, Kathy. All right, this video is getting long, so we're gonna pull one more order and then the rest of the orders will be on another video. But I wanted to put this one in this video because this one is a really good one. And it's these two Sears catalogs same buyer came in and bought both of them and they are really good believe it or not these actually came from the same place as this did at the looney tunes t-shirt buy man they had so much good stuff so 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 much good stuff and these are sears catalogs this one is from spring and summer 1944 hmm good 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 and i bought all this stuff it came in i bought it bundled it all up as a lot it was over over a thousand dollars worth of stuff um i don't even have it all listed yet i still got a bunch of those shirts to list and this one is a 1946 catalog yes spring and summer 1946 and they both sold for 44.99 plus shipping each so 45 bucks each uh for old 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 sears catalogs love 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 this sale these things are awesome look at that dress man i i should have made a video just showing you guys these because these things are so awesome all right that's gonna be it for the sales on this video i did not pull nowhere near all of my sales but just to make this video not so long i'm just gonna stop it there i will pull the rest of them in just a few minutes and put them on another video probably wednesday's video i'm not sure yet but anyways thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all the channel memberships you guys are unbelievable thank you again kathy i appreciate it Thank you again, Corey. I appreciate it over at Grams and Pops Vintage on eBay and also YouTube. Go check out their YouTube channel. And so, yeah, awesome, awesome, awesome weekend of sales. Uh, hopefully letting you guys know about my how I do promoted listings and how high I promote. And it may not be high to everybody, but uh, from who I talk to down in the comments, it, it, I think it's pretty high. I don't think most people 
promote that high, but it pays off, right? So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the love and support. You guys are awesome. Best viewers on YouTube. Appreciate it. Old school picker.